We're here with Tom Shepard from Jones Walker out of Mississippi. Yeah. What should we know, Tom, about what's, what's happening in regard to legal sports betting in Mississippi? Mississippi was one of the first jurisdictions right out the block with uh, legalization of sports wagering. In fact, it was made legal prior to the uh, unconstitutional determination of PASPA. So Mississippi was ready to go, had already been working on regulations, and was able to adopt those and license companies in an extremely quick fashion. Uh, the regulators were really on top of it in every way. Mississippi has uh, sports books operating in about 90% of the, of the casinos in Mississippi. Uh, the Mississippi Band of Choctaw Indians at present is the only uh, casino group that has mobile betting. And uh, sports wagering has done what people expected it to do in Mississippi. It's provided an additional amenity. It's drawing additional customers in, particularly on the Mississippi Gulf Coast from Louisiana and adjoining jurisdictions. Pro football with the Saints, SEC football with Auburn and Alabama and LSU, those have been the driving forces for that sports wagering uh, activity on the coast. It's, it's been exciting. It's been fun. It's, uh, it's on the cutting edge of something new and exciting for, for us and our firm and also for the gaming industry in Mississippi. What can the rest of the country learn about legalization of sports betting based on what Mississippi has done? Well, I think what uh, other jurisdictions should learn is that uh, mobile is the wave of the future. Uh, as many people said this morning in one of the panels I went to, uh, mobile is where it's going to be in four to five years in most jurisdictions. So uh, Mississippi uh, should People should learn from the Mississippi experience of doing it only land-based to begin with, but take that and build on it for mobile wagering in the future. What are the trends in regard to mobile? Uh, the trends with regard to mobile is Mississippi had a bill introduced this year that would have legalized mobile wagering across the state. That bill didn't get uh, much of a hearing. I think it's going to take something like Louisiana or another adjoining jurisdiction adopting mobile wagering before it goes statewide in Mississippi, but there's a chance. Is that an overlook? to legalize sports betting and not do mobile at the same time? Well, uh, yes. Uh, the short answer is yes. But uh, in what, what happened was there was a daily fantasy sports bill that included an amendment to the Gaming Control Act to take out offensive language that prohibited sports wagering. And, and that was just a minor tweak. So it wasn't like there was a wholesale redo of the Mississippi Gaming Control Act. It was just a minor tweak. And the people who were involved in doing that probably didn't understand all the issues. What should we expect in the coming year? Any, anything new developments for your state? Uh, in the coming year, I think what you'll see, of course, the lottery, Mississippi lottery is coming online, so I think that will further encourage uh, people to consider statewide gaming on, on mobile devices because you're going to have gaming not only in eight counties, which you do now along the river and on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, but you'll have it in all 82 counties. So I think you'll see changing attitudes toward gaming in general in the state of Mississippi that probably will bode well for mobile wagering for sports. Are there other benefits uh, to legalizing sports betting that may be kind of off the radar? Um, is it helping people get elected? Is it? Uh, no, Mississippi is still very a uh, conservative state uh, by nature. And uh, we, we take things a little bit more slowly than others, so it's, it's difficult for politicians to step on out there, particularly when, as I've said before, gaming is really only in eight counties in the state, so there are other parts of the state that don't, that don't think they see the benefits of gaming, even though they really do. The money goes into the state general budget, and it's spread throughout the state, so um, all citizens see the, can get the benefit from casino gaming in Mississippi. They may not see it or understand it, but it's there. But uh, again, with the lottery, uh, I think when you when you have that online, people will begin to uh, to understand the benefits of gaming, and it will they'll see that it's that it's safe, uh, acceptable uh, form of entertainment, and it also provides revenue for the state. Tom, before we say farewell, any final words for those listening? Uh, come to Mississippi. We'd love to have your money. Thank you. Thank you.